But let's get down to business. Some real struggles. They are real for TB12 in the Bucks. Brady, eight touchdown passes this season after throwing 43 last year's team. They've lost four out of five. Look at a bounce back Thursday against the Ravens. We send it to our Hall of Fame quarterback, Kurt Warner, who's got a little bit more on Brady and Lamar. Well, it's obviously no secret that the Tampa Bay Bucks offense is not clicking. They are not playing up to their standards. The most amazing thing for me is how much of this, I believe, is on Tom Brady. And we all understand there's a lot of stuff going on in his life. But what he's always been great at in the past has been able to compartmentalize football and everything else. When he gets between those lines, it's all about the main thing. But this year, when I watch the tape, uh, I'm seeing a lot of mistakes that are uncharacteristic of Tom Brady, things that you don't expect from him. For instance, right here, we're going to see a middle safety. As a quarterback, you see a middle safety. You're not really trying to attack the middle of the field. We got one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. I am taking one of these stop routes. Specifically, I got Mike Evans down here on my right-hand side, my main guy. I'm looking for opportunities to go to him. Tom steps back here, and he throws it right where the safety was. Safety didn't even move into that position. We're going to see it again here against the Carolina Panthers that from the snap, from the go, there is a guy in the middle of the field. I'm telling myself, okay, deep safety here. I'm checking off anything down the middle of the field. I'm going to work to the outside. It's third and eight right here. I got Chris Godwin on a breakout right at the sticks. That is a gimme completion right here. Okay, I don't have that. I work over the top to that curl route that's coming in behind him. But there is nothing here that says throw it down the middle of the field to Mike Evans. Even right here, Mike Evans leaves and slow down a little bit because he's like, he's not going to throw it to me here. So there are a lot of issues with this football team that go beyond Tom Brady. But to me, it has to start right there. And it just seems like everything that he's doing on the field is clouded, and it is so uncharacteristic of the greatest of all time. And I'm also looking forward to, uh, to seeing the counterpart on Thursday night in Lamar Jackson is that he's had some ups and downs and uh, at moments has looked like the MVP. I want to see him continue to settle in inside the pocket a little bit more. There's times where I feel like he's trying to do too much, trying to make that special play instead of just playing the game, seeing the game and getting the ball out on time. So he's had a really good season, but there's some areas for improvement for this Baltimore offense as well. And just taking a closer look and reiterating Kurt's point on Brady, check out the numbers so far this season. Three and four, I know it's been a major topic of conversation. The points per game at 17, that hurts, Willie. And look, Kurt made reference to it. You've been talking about it. Brady's one thing, but the struggles for this squad, probably a little bit more than just the QB. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of struggles and there's a lot to cover when you talk about the Bucks and trying to put everything back in place. But, Buck, when you look at the Bucks, what do they need to do to get back on track? Well, the first thing, when you have an older quarterback, you need more support. And that support doesn't come necessarily in the passing game. How about the running game? Leonard Fournette and these guys being able to run the football. You want to run the football, take some of the pressure off Tom Brady. Tom Brady's averaging 42 pass attempts per game. That's way too much for him at this stage of his career. You want to use him when necessary. You don't want to lean on him. So it's on Leonard Fournette. It's on this offensive line. They have to move bodies because, you know, when you can run the football, play action, big shots down the field, it fits their personnel better if they can run the football. It's easy to say, right, because if you want to settle down the offensive line, you run the football, but they've been struggling versus the run. But when you look at the Baltimore Ravens, their pass defense is at the bottom of the league. They give up big plays, 54 big plays, top five in big plays. That's 10-plus rush yards and 20-plus passing yards. So you can attack them in a lot of different ways, but – just knowing Brady and what he's been doing over the years, it's game plan specific. He's going to attack your weakness. So if they can get that run game going, that will open up the play action for some big plays down the field where the Ravens have been struggling. Look, they've been struggling this time. Yeah, they've been struggling. Now, on the other side of the ball, we're talking about the Ravens, right? What do they do well? <laughs> they get off the bus running the football, right? So if they're running the football – and they're putting that pressure on them. Maybe they can stop some of these plays from Brady going deep and struggling on the back end. Like I said, they're at the bottom of the league at pass defense, meaning there's a lot of mental errors. There's a lot of guys in wrong positions. They've been kind of moving guys in and out of the lineup, changing some of the guys that they have as starters. Brady has the arsenal at on the outside to attack that, but they run the ball so well. So if you just gave up 173 yards oh, right yeah. to the Panthers. Oh, you know what's coming. You, you know, what, what does the Ravens do really well? Oh, they run it. They're going to pound it. They're they going to go right at them.
Right, so they'll give them a lot of different formations. I think they'll be physical, Yammer, and they'll try to run the ball. So both of these teams got to kind of get things together with uh, their prospective teams if they're going to expect to go out and play at a certain level.